Chapter 4 And so I solemnly urge you before God and before Christ Jesus, who will someday judge the living and the dead when he appears to set up his kingdom, preach the word of God, be persistent, whether the time is favorable or not, patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to right teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever they want to hear. They will reject the truth and follow strange myths. But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at bringing others to Christ. Complete the ministry God has given you. As for me, my life has already been poured out as an offering to God. The time of my death is near. I have fought a good fight, I have finished the race, and I have remained faithful. And now the prize awaits me, the crown of righteousness that the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that great day of his return. And the prize is not just for me, but for all who eagerly look forward to his glorious return. Please come as soon as you can. Demas has deserted me because he loves the things of this life and has gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus has gone to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Bring Mark with you when you come, for he will be helpful to me. I sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, be sure to bring the coat I left with Carpus at Troas. Also bring my books and especially my papers. Alexander the coppersmith has done me much harm but the Lord will judge him for what he has done. Be careful of him, for he fought against everything we said. The first time I was brought before the judge, no one was with me. Everyone had abandoned me. I hope it will not be counted against them. But the Lord stood with me and gave me strength that I might preach the good news in all its fullness for all the Gentiles to hear. And he saved me from certain death. Yes, and the Lord will deliver me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Give my greetings to Priscilla and Aquila and those living at the household of Onesiphorus. Erastus stayed at Corinth, and I left Trophimus sick at Miletus. Hurry so you can get here before winter. Eubulus sends you greetings, and so do Pudens, Linus, Claudia, and all the brothers and sisters. May the Lord be with your spirit. Grace be with you all.